We have seen a massive pullback on the US dollar like I rightly predicted three weeks ago in this particular video. Price is now approaching my zone where I will be expecting a bullish continuation on the US dollar. However, next week is packed with fundamentals, especially the CPI, which will either boost the strength of the US dollar or condemn it to the sword. But the good news is, whether prices go up or down, we still make money as long as we align ourselves with the direction of the market. And in this week's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that, starting with the dollar index as usual. Now, on the dollar index, starting from the monthly time frame, you could see that price is looking bearish on this particular month right and you see the previous month closed with a bullish candle so at some point i would expect this red candle to push higher and probably turn into a bullish candle or even close as a bullish candle for this particular month so when this happens what you will see on this particular candlestick is this body that is right here right now starts pushing higher right and then change into a green candle all right leaving us with a week below so hopefully this is what i'll be expecting on the monthly time frame at the end of this month all right so what i'm saying in a nutshell is i'm expecting bullish continuation on the dollar at some point however it depends on the outcome of the fundamentals next week like i said earlier especially cpi and as you can see on the weekly time frame if you remember i predicted the collapse of dollar on this particular week this is the weekly time frame and each of these candlesticks represents weekly price action so on this particular week i predicted the collapse of dollar at least for the time being and as you can see we've seen two weeks of bearish price action so i'll be expecting bullish continuation within this zone for price to come into this zone and start going higher or we may decide to attempt this trend line but we can see it clearly on the weekly time frame so let's come to the daily time frame so on the daily time frame uh this was where i predicted the collapse of dollar the pullback of the us dollar and now we are trading in an important zone we've come back and retest this broken zone here as you can see right price went created a higher high here then came back to retest this broken zone and as you can see Technically, price is comfortably sitting on the 0.5 FIB level, which aligns with this previous broken zone. And now price has given us a dodgy candlestick at that zone. So I'll be expecting price to start pulling higher from this particular price area. But if the CPI numbers come out against the US dollar, we may drop and keep pushing into this trend line and if you are wondering where that trend line is coming from it's coming all the way from below here on the daily time frame so you can go to your charts and plot this there so that you can follow this particular analysis so the cpi news can either push price higher from here which is what i'm strongly expecting but if that doesn't happen and we break below this current support area then i'll be waiting for i'll be looking at the possibility of price coming into this trend line before either bouncing off and if we break below, then we are going all the way to the downside. Two possible scenarios. So down to the four hour time frame. Remember, this was, was around this zone. I predicted the fall. And now we are trading within that um, zone like you saw on the daily time frame, right? And like we already know, price is sitting on the daily 0.5 Fibonacci level, all right? So if price breaks below this four hour zone, then I'll be expecting price to drop down into this zone, all right, which is 12788. Mind you, I'm using the Dojo dollar index, so you take note of that, all right? But I'm most likely expecting price to start bouncing off from this particular zone, all right, for next week. So these are the two possible scenarios I'm seeing on the US dollar come next week week since we've seen what is happening on the dollar index let's start looking at some of the dollar pairs starting with the um gbp usd gbp usd just like the dollar index closed last month with a bearish candle at some point we are expecting a bearish continuation but if that doesn't happen let's go to the weekly time frame so that we look at two possibility remember the dollar index is sitting on a very important zone so is the gbp usd the gbp usd is also at an important zone if you are wondering what that important zone is the trend line you see here on this weekly time frame is that important zone i am talking about so two things will happen next week 
I am most likely, I am most likely expecting price to reject this trend line or this resistance above and push price lower. And this resistance above is around, uh, let me put this here, it's around 1.26310, all right? So if price comes into that zone, into 1.26310, I'll be most likely expecting a rejection to the downside. I'll be expecting a rejection to the downside like this, at least into... 1.21270 as my initial take profit target what if price now breaks out of this trend line and breaks out of this zone then i'll be expecting a pullback and then we have enough buying space to the upside so whichever way it goes we are definitely going to benefit from the move but for now as price stands i'm actually expecting a rejection so i'm 70 percent on the side of a rejection i'm talking about if we don't reject this trend line then I'll be looking at this support, sorry, this resistance area above for a possible rejection to this downside as my initial take profit target. And if we break below it, then we'll be looking at further decline, which we'll be discussing next week. But if we take out this resistance, guys, we have enough space to the upside. So whichever way price is willing to go, we are ready to pounce on it. Let's go to the daily time frame so that we can see things more clearly on the daily time frame i'm also my zone remains the same so i'll be expecting because it looks like price has broken out of that weekly trend line this is that weekly trend line mind you we are on the daily time frame right now so it looks like we've closed above it but i'll be expecting price to push into 1.26252 just like i mentioned earlier for a possible rejection to the downside a possible is possible rejection from here to here as my initial take profit target but what happens if we break above it then if we take if we break above this zone then i'll be waiting for a retest then guys <laughs> we are buying gbp usd for a very very long time i hope you get the point so that is my overall analysis on gbp usd let's look at the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame if we come into this zone and reject it to the downside of course i've mentioned my take profit target over and over again so if we get that rejection from within this zone to the downside, then we must, that means we've created a head and shoulders pattern. I know you may be arguing, um, but the head and shoulders pattern is not straight. If price comes here, like I've been saying, I'll be expecting a rejection. And if we break a bow, then guys, we are buying all the way to the upside. Just if you can catch the buy from within this zone, just hold. Next week, I'll be telling you our next level targets. All right. <laughs> just hold that's my analysis on gbp usd in a nutshell so now let's go to aud usd aud usd on the monthly time frame we closed the previous month with this strong bearish candlestick but this particular month looks like it's going bullish bullish into where let's go to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame just like the gbp usd you know we have this close to hitting the resistance level we have could either see a potential reversal from bearish reversal from or a break above the the resistance for a bullish continuation the same applies to AUD USD from the weekly time frame I'm looking at these zones as my possible areas that price has tested multiple times as you can see if you look left price has tested these zones multiple times so I'm expecting price to come back into that zone then give us a strong rejection to the downside on AUD USD. So what I'll be looking at on AUD USD is a rejection of this particular area to this downside. I'm looking for reversal at around 0 0.67887. All right, with our target being 0 0.61950. That is if we get this rejection around here. But if you are not seeing things clearly on the weekly time frame, let's go to the daily time frame. Let's open our charts a little bit more. If you remember last week, I predicted price coming into this trend line. If you missed that, just go to last week's video, our last weekly video. You will see that I predicted price to jump all the way from here into this trend line. And that was exactly what price did. As a matter of fact, we even broke above this trend line. But like, I've, like I mentioned on the weekly time frame, I'm expecting a rejection at this zone for price to now push lower to 0.61950. So why am I looking at this zone for possible reversal area like I mapped out on the weekly time frame? It is simple. If you look left, price has used this zone as areas of value previously. 
price has used these zones as area of value and if i even zoom in most recently price has used this zone as areas of value previously so when price comes back into this level i'll be expecting a strong rejection to this price area look if you look right you can see the price area here and this is where i'm expecting that rejection from so let's go to the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame it remains the same i'm expecting that pullback from here so we still have buying space to the upside before the drop let's look at one hour. how can we take advantage of this push to the upside because as it stands we still have about uh, 46 pip move to the upside so hopefully we get it next week but let's go to the 15 minutes time frame so this is how we are going to catch it if price pulls back into this area for the early part of next week then I'll be expecting a bullish continuation until we come into this price area. Just look right. You will see the price value there. And what if price doesn't give a pullback into the zone before we rally to the upside? Then I'm just going to draw a zone here on the 15 minutes time frame with the hopes that when price come and break above it, I'll be expecting a pullback. Then I'll be buying into that same price level so this is how we can take advantage of the buy then when we get to that zone we start looking for selling opportunities from that zone i'll definitely leave the updates on the telegram channel as usual so that is aud usd in a nutshell now let's go to jpy index so on the jpy index if you know i've been calling jpy index short for a long time until we come into this zone here i remain short on jpy index so if jpy index is going downward what happens to jpy pairs that means the other pairs paired with the jpy will be super bullish right so which in the which means gbp jpy will be bullish usd jpy will be overall bullish that is if the dollar index cooperates with it card jpy will be bullish aud jpy will be bullish all right and if jpy index is trending upward what happens on the jpy pairs which means jpy is going to dominate the other pairs all right so in this case we are still bearish on jpy pairs which means we will see strong gbp jpy we will see strong aud jpy we will see a strong card jpy and so on and so forth right so for next week i'll still be expecting price to keep dropping until we come into this zone just like i've been saying in all my previous videos right and on the daily time frame also i remember last week if you missed the video go and watch last week's video price was around here on friday for last week and i predicted that price would keep dropping to the downside however i didn't give me that significant push that i wanted but it's still closed bearish right as you can see we look like we looks like we've created a new lower low breaking below this low here so let's go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame it is obvious price is creating lower highs lower highs lower highs lower highs and also creating lower lows lower lows lower lows lower low so what should we be expecting next week? we should be expecting continuous push to the downside so i don't trade the jpy pair so i won't spend my time analyzing and reanalyzing the jpy pairs i just want to show you the overall trend of the market so now that we've seen what is happening on the jpy pairs let's go and look at gbp jpy gbp jpy has been super bullish i've been calling gbp jpy bullish for quite some time now if you've been following all my videos my initial target is here if we break above here then it's here if you are wondering what here is, is just look right you'll see the price area there all right that's why we have all these prices here so when i say here just look right to pinpoint or to determine the target i am talking about so if we go to the weekly time frame the weekly time frame I actually expected price to pull back into this zone before we start pushing higher but it looks like price is showing no signs of pullback um so i'll be expecting that continuous push to the upside all right if you are still wondering what the upside means at least i'm talking about 181 price region the 181.960 price region so that's where i'm expecting price to come into but if we come to the daily time frame the daily time frame is also looking pretty much um bullish then let's come to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame price has been super bullish i remember taking advantage of this trade from here i think on wednesday yes that is the screenshot of the profit there i risk 0.5 percent on this particular trade and i held for quite some time so i took the trade from within this zone and took advantage of this trade but right now we are not here to talk about all of that 
So how do we join this by next week? I pray and hope that we get a pullback into this zone here before we go bullish. All right. So the zone I'm talking about that I'm expecting this pullback to come into is around 174.312. I'll be expecting price to pull back into that zone. Then we go all the way to the upside. Of course, we will not go straight line to the upside, right? We are going to keep seeing this and this as we move all the way to the upside. So that you don't just think that when we pull back into this zone, we just go straight to the upside. No, there are still levels where you'll be taking profits, adding to your positions and all of this good stuff. If you don't know how to do that and you want to learn how to do that, guys, just join our mentorship programs, all right? You'll be able to do all these things you see me do. Is You'll be able to predict the market with impeccable accuracy, just like I do. And for next week, GBP, JPY, I would like to see a pullback. I hope and pray I see a pullback into one of these areas, into one of these areas, 174.548 or 174.3. One, so I'll be expecting pullback. So let's even pull up our Fibonacci retracement so and draw from swing high to swing low. Uh, let me make the other levels visible. Um, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is visible, 0 0.7, 0 0.38. I'm not interested in 0 0.38, so I'm just going to untick that. So I'm more interested in 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 so 0 0.5, I'm not even looking at it right now because it aligns with no level of structure, does it? Okay, I think it aligns with the top of this level here. So what I'm saying in a nutshell, I'll actually like to see price pull back into 0 0.618 or 0 0.78 of this particular Fibonacci level to continue the bullish push to the upside. So I'm just going to leave this here so that I can give you guys updates when price drops into this zone come next week. All right, so that's GBP JPY in a nutshell. Let's jump over to USD JPY. USD JPY has been consolidating heavily thanks to the dollar index. All right, because the dollar index also affects the performance of the USD against the JPY pairs. As you can see, of course, I've also been calling pullbacks on USD JPY. If we go to the daily time frame, you see price bounced off this zone previously, came back again, and has attempted it. Could this be a formation of a double bottom at this particular level? Of course, I don't know. As a matter of fact, just like I mentioned last week, I would like to see price pull back into 137.789. All right. I would like to see price pull back into that zone. So, but if it doesn't, then how do we still take advantage of this trade? Let's go to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, uh, we have this trend line at the top here. So if price breaks above this trend line at the top, we could even switch to a more lower time frame to catch an early entry. Then our target remains 142.130. Overall, on G USD JPY, my target remains 142.130. All right. My target remains 142.130. That's my overall target. No matter what price does, I want price is definitely coming into the zone. So what does that tell you? I'm still super bullish on USD JPY. But just like I mentioned, I would like to see price drop down into 137.797 for us to see that bullish push. It is going to give me more confidence to trade and hold this. But if price doesn't drop here and will break above this trend line above, I'll switch even to a lower time for maybe one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes to catch an early entry and hold till we get to 142.130. All right. So overall on USD JPY, I remain bullish. All right. So that brings us to gold. Gold ha gold ranged for the best part of last week. Let me even go to the daily time frame because that's where you get to see it clearly. Remember, we have five trading days in a week, right? And as you can see, one this is the daily time frame. So each of these candlesticks represents one day of price action. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. So for the past five days of last week we moved sideways so if you were confused about gold all week this is why this is why but let's go back to the weekly time frame and see how we close if you remember in my last week's analysis i talked about the possibility of getting the rejection of this zone because on this particular weekly time frame price is creating higher highs and higher lows higher highs so now i knew there would be a bounce but guys overall i'm expecting price to take out this trend line and this price area 
all right overall i still want to see price take out this one come back for a retest then drop to around 1800 that's 1800 all right so if we break below this weekly zone come back for a retest i'll catch this retest on the lower time frame i'm not saying you should wait for the pullback on the weekly time frame all right so when we break that is when you switch to the lower time frames to wait for that pullback all right so once you get the pullback you want to strike then our overall take profit target will be 1,800. So at some point, price is going to break here. All right. Why do I know that? It's simply because of the way we closed for last month. Price rejected this zone multiple times before closing last month with this um, bearish looking candlestick. Right. So I'll still be expecting that bearish continuation. So that is why I know that on the weekly time frame, price is eventually going to break below this zone. So on the daily time frame, we also have to be patient on gold because right now it's confused. All right. So we want to see gold come and create a new lower low. But if it wants to go higher, then let it come and create a new higher high, breaking above these price areas on the daily time frame. All right. So if we can take out this highs here on the daily time frame like this then i'll be expecting a pullback for a bullish continuation but for now i'm not looking at bullish continuation i'm expecting to see price create a new lower low and a pullback but you have to be patient for that to happen except if you're scalping on the lower time frame like i did last week i scalped two trades from this um on this goal last week all right so like i said overall i still remain bearish on gold but i have something interesting to show you is it on the 15 minutes time frame is it is it let me see okay yeah it is on the 15 minutes time frame so where price is currently uh there's a zone i put here you can go to your time frame and put this um line here at one nine six six point two nine all right just put it there from the higher time frame perspective, maybe the four hour time frame, you'll be able to see why I actually put the line there. Or let's just go to the four hour time frame so I can sh I can show you myself. If you notice this is the line I'm talking about, you will notice that price is finding it difficult breaking above this zone. So there's something interesting about this particular zone. So let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame. That is why on the 15 minutes time frame, I'm, for me to buy gold, short buy, of course, for me to buy, take a short buy on gold, uh i'll be looking for price to take out this trend line and this line here all right this trend line and this line on the 15 minutes time frame then come back for every test then i will buy until we get to 1974 that will be my take profit if i go bullish because the bullish is going to be a scalp trade all right even anything bearish right now should also be a scalp trade so for me to sell also, we need to break below 1954.38, all right? We need to break below it, then go back there for a retest. Then I'll sell into 1940, all right? So both as caps, both buy and sell as caps. But within this zone, I'm going to do nothing. Between these zones, I'm going to do nothing. So we have to take out this trend line and this line here for us to go bullish, all right? And I have to take out this price area here for us to go bearish so feel free plot this chart on your chart and follow my price analysis and if you don't know how to do this and you want to also learn how to do this don't forget join our mentorship programs and you will be able to analyze with ease and you know you generate trading signals based on how well you can analyze the market so if you don't know how to analyze the market properly then you will just be guessing that's just the truth you will just be a guesser in the market and when you guess when you really don't know what price is doing then you know you are going to be a losing trader for a fact so do yourself a favor grab our program the link is in the description of, of this video down below and right in front of you as you can see it's on your screen right now so that is gold in a nutshell the other pairs i feel to analyze on this video i'm going to be dropping them on the telegram channel the link to jo joining the telegram channel is also in the description of this particular video down below take your trading to the next level with our mentorship program visit www.letstrade10x.com for more info come join the league of profitable traders guys stop giving your hard-earned money to the brokers and prop firms for free it should be taken from them think of it you should be taken from them guys thanks for staying to the end of this video subscribe right now if you haven't also like this video and leave us a comment in the comment section below have a successful trading week and bye for now